everyone i am divarani pandran baba working as a assistant professor in artificial intelligence and data science department at assms iit pune today we will discuss software process models first we will discuss what is software process so process is nothing but set of activities and software process is what software process is a structured set of activities required to develop a software system so there are different software processes involves specification design and implementation validation and evolution so specification means defining what the system should do design and implementation means defining the organization of the system and implementing the system validation means checking that it does what the customer wants evolution means changing the system in response to changing customer needs now what is software process model software process model is an abstract representation of a process or we can say software process represents description of a process from some particular perspective now there are some software process descriptions so first one is product second one is role third one is pre and post conditions so products are the outcomes of process activities roles means which reflects the responsibilities of the people involved in the process pre and post conditions means these are the statements that are true before and after process activity so when we describe and discuss processes we usually talk about the activities in this process for example modeling designing and user interfaces now first software process model is waterfall model this diagram shows the detailed description of waterfall model so waterfall model is also referred as linear sequential life cycle model it is very simple to understand and use so in a waterfall model each phase must be completed fully before the next phase can begin so this type of a software development model is basically used for the project which is small at the end of each and every phase a review takes place to determine if the project is on the right path and whether or not to continue or discard the project so in this model software testing starts only after the development is complete in waterfall model phases do not overlap so requirement gathering and analysis is one of the phase in this phase the requirements are gathered by the business analyst so requirements are documented during this phase and clarifications can be sought next phase is system design the architect and senior members of the team work on the software architecture provides high level and low level design for the project that means the architect creates the architecture diagrams and high level or low level design documents in the implementation phase the development team works on coding the project they also perform several other activities like a senior developer reviewing the other developers code for any issues in the testing phase the testing team tests the complete application and identifies any defects in the application these defects are fixed by the developers they also perform regression testing of the application to see if any new defects were introduced next phase is deployment the team builds and installs the application on the servers which were procured for the application they also coordinate with network and it and administrative teams to finally get the application up
and one more phase is there that is maintenance during the maintenance phase the team ensures that the application is running smoothly on the servers without any downtime so this is all about the waterfall model